Hello everybody, this is Retro Reviews Plus coming at you once again with another video. And you, as you can see, we're doing some, a game that's near and dear to my heart. That is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. And this, of course, you know, is a port from the arcades, um, which, was a, which, a, which was a major hit in the arcades. And... You know, when when we got this game on the Nintendo, uh, we was just you know we was just excited, and this is probably my favorite uh, Turtles game for the Nintendo. So let's uh, let's get started here. Here's your Turtle Select screen. You got Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello. But of course, my favorite turtle. Was always this guy right here, Michelangelo. He's the party dude. I like this weapon, the nunchucks, and uh, he just made the show fun. You know, I mean, he, his personality. I think one, his personality was kind of what made the turtles uh, enjoyable to watch. Because Leonardo, he's like the the serious guy. He's like the leader, of course. Donatello, he's like the smart guy, the nerd, like, kind of like the nerdy turtle. And Raphael's like a sarcastic guy all the time. And so, yeah, Michelangelo was the party dude. He loved, of course, he loved pizza. Probably the, he was always thinking about pizza. And this, this made it enjoyable to watch. So we're gonna go, go through it with my favorite turtle here, Michelangelo. try to get April out of her apartment, it's on fire. This of course is a very uh, famous uh, famous level. It's you know the first level of course in the game, but just everything with the with the flames and you know, the, the first boss of course is Rocksteady. And, um, you'll see coming up it's just this this level will stick with you because it's just brings back a lot of memories. If you push your A and B together, you do that move everywhere you you take out the foot soldiers with with one swipe, basically. See there, I took out three of them with one one hit. Anytime you can, I try to do that as much as I can because they will come up behind you, and uh, you know that way you spend less time fighting one foot soldier. Now, if I do hit them normally, if I'm not able to do it, I'll jump over them like that. I'll jump over them, hit them again. Because if you just see right there, if you just just try to stand there and hit them normally, they're going to get a hit on you. It's not like the arcades. It, it wasn't like that really in the arcades. It, I guess it's one thing Nintendo tried to do to make it more challenging. Because in the arcades, if you got the first hit on that foot soldier, you could usually just keep whacking and whacking until he you know, blew up. And as you can see on the wall there, it says Pizza Hut. But yeah, Pizza Hut had to deal with this game. I remember if you if you bought the game. You got a coupon in it for a free personal size pan pizza, which, you know, for any kid, you know, uh, turtles, and you got the free pizza, they're like, yeah, yeah, mom and dad, let's get, get, let's get that game. It was, it was just a fun, fun, interesting time uh, back then, back in the late 80s. Late, late 80s, early 90s, this, this shit, the originals, that's when the, the first came out in 87, the cartoon. And, uh, you know, they, they're very popular. Of course, the turtles are still around today. But, yeah, you basically fight foot soldiers in this game. Um, they are different colors in the game. Some of them will have different type of weapons, like sledgehammers and spears, throwing knives, throwing stars, uh, boomerang boomerang blades like and of course you got these little Robbie robots here yeah. 
motherfucker. Yeah, and they will, will shock you if you. April screaming. Yeah, and I'm coming here ready to fight the first boss. Rock steady. It's just an awesome, awesome thing here. Of course, in the arcades, he when he came out, he he said, uh, "Say your prayers, turtles." Of course, Nintendo, you know, but Nintendo wasn't capable of doing those type of voices. And this is how you want to attack your bosses like this. Do the jump kick and, you know, get away. You can't just stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. And he will charge after you like that. Shredder came in there and got April, so we got to keep going. Come on after that Shredder creep, it says. <laughs> that wasn't nice. And whenever you fall in a hole, they say, duh, who put the, who turned the lights out? Set those back to those guys. Those manhole covers. See, there's a pizza for the first time in the game. And I'll just fight these guys. Wait till I'm done with them, and I'll get that pizza up there. And it, it does restore all of your health back. I always like making that girl scream. Yellow guys, they have those like boomerangs you can see right there. All those pizza hut signs will fall on you if you're not all the way at the bottom. And I'm getting ready to fight Bebop here. And 
basically you want to do the same same strategy. Jump, jump quick, and avoid his gun, his ray gun there. Uh, and I will say he is quite a bit harder than Rocksteady. Charge at you a lot more like that. And when he charges, you, you can't do anything to him. You just gotta try to avoid it. Wow. Jeez. Wow, he's really giving me a time here. See, he was giving me a uh, hard time there. And that is a good thing if you if your health is low, if you make it to the next level, it goes back to full. So that, that is the good thing about this game. So as you can see, we're down in the sewers now. little mousers uh, made by Baxter Stockman, right, his invention. Like this, this game fo uh, closely follows the, the cartoon very, very much. So I think a lot of Turtle fans will appreciate that. Coming up on 200 points here, you do get an extra life for every 200 points. So, through the course of the game, you'll probably get about three extra lives, I would say. There's Baxter. He's kind of easy, he just throws his little mousers out here, not yet. He don't really do anything else. So you just gotta whack on him and try to avoid his mousers or fight him off.
Now there's Baxter in this, as when he turn after he turns into a fly and Shredder. And he says, "Tonight I dine on turtle soup." That was a famous line from the cartoon. Now this level here wasn't in the arcades. It was this was a uh, a level strip they made for the Nintendo game. And it actually has there's two levels in this game that wasn't in the arcades. This is one, and there's uh, another one coming up. stay at the top here, otherwise you get run over by that thing. There's some more Pizza Hut advertising. This level does kind of follow the cartoon because as you can see it's like there's snow on the ground and it's not supposed to be, it's like really springtime. But in the uh, cartoon there was a, an episode where they, Krang's uh, rock soldiers uh, came from Dimension X and they uh, had a we weather satellite where it created weather and this, this is one of those, uh, this kind of follows that episode really. You have to destroy. After you beat the boss, then you destroy the weather satellite, and the weather goes back to normal. Take on this boss first. I really don't recognize this guy. I don't know, maybe he was in an episode I didn't see. And he's actually not that hard, you just gotta avoid this rock here he throws at you. Remember in the episode, Leonardo took out the uh, weather satellite because it was up in the air, up in the sky. And he took it out with his sword. And uh, 
Raphael said, hey, a lot of people... A lot of people complain about the weather, but you actually did something about it. those guys out as soon as they can because they can give you fits and they start whacking on you with their guns. Baxter again as the needs to fly. And he's actually really easy. You just avoid his little blast there and whack him a good one when he comes down. This was a lot easier on right here this part because in the arcades you actually had to fight Rocksteady and Bebop at the same time so that was actually pretty hard especially if you was by yourself I think the reason they changed it because I don't think the Nintendo had the capability the, you know enough just enough juice to have both Rocksteady and Bebop on the screen at the same time Okay, now we're going to a factory here. We're on our way to a factory. Now 
those foot soldiers with the spears, they can be a menace too. At least in the arcade, when they threw the spear, they didn't you know, have it anymore. On this one, they still have a spear. Got these guys with the sledgehammers. up here to the turtle van.
Somebody wasn't paying attention. <laughs> There's the turtle van all crashed up. So then we got to rescue Splinter now. Those, those, as I saw, the mouse was taking him away. Since I'm the uh, you know, big turtle fan, this this easy is in my top ten uh, games for the Nintendo. And of course the. Uh, Super Nintendo, there was a Turtles game for the Super Nintendo, Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. That's actually a, another awesome game. That'll, that's for, that'll be for a different day, sometime in the future. And it, it was fashioned after the second uh, arcade game. It, it was an awesome game, very good for it. Uh, I need these guys once they get up and going. sent from the Technodrome. Soldiers from Dimension X. We'll see if I can get a few hits on him before I take the pizza. Got 
that flank whenever he tries to toast you with that. And he does take a lot of hits. Try to keep moving. Ah, uh, I got me with it. I thought that was funny how he, he screamed like that right before blowing up. I thought that was, thought that was actually pretty cool. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice touch that Nintendo put, in, put on there. Okay, here's the second bonus stage. Yeah, this, this stage was not in the arcades.
just want to get them, get them on the edge of the screen there. I thought this was a cool looking boss. Uh, like a, almost like a, sam uh, a samurai guy. But his outfit reminds of like a sam he's a sam ancient samurai. Well, a, ro a robot samurai, that is. Yeah, you gotta try to avoid his head when it's flying around. the Technodrome. This is the last stage, folks.
another rock, one of Krang's rock soldiers. This was General Trag, I believe. It's got some kind of almost like a mini rocket launcher there. Shoots a missile out. And then if you close up, one of you tries to whack you with it. Seconds when you're after you die, you're like invincible air when you're flickering. Take advantage of that. Get some good wax on him. Guess we'll see him another There's Trevor, the last boss of the game. Okay, he cleans himself in there. One, one's the real shutter, one's a clone. And after one, after the one loses the hunt like that right away, you know that's the clone. And he can't fire the special. Time you just
that's the anti music. That's the anti music. Alright, if he hits you with that, if he hits you with that, you're done. He turns you into a little turtle. Ah! Yeah, just like that. Oh my gosh, he's. Now he's going crazy with Says the epilogue. Freak the foots, mangled the mousers, and totaled the technodrome. That's turtle power. But what about the shudder and crane? Burnt to toast, vaporized in milkshake, or escaped to Dimension X? Until we know, none of us can see sleep safely in our beds or shells. It says congratulations. the turtle blimp in the background and now uh, it just shows the credits this is just the ending again you just you wished for a better ending you know or a more extensive ending I mean the the technodrome blowing up was pretty cool but you just you'd like to see more so that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 the arcade game for the Nintendo Entertainment System like I said, it's a fun game to pick up and play, especially if you got two people to play with you, or, well, one other person that way, too, if you can play, uh, you know, co-op together. You know, playing co-op is always, always more fun.
it says presented by Ultra. Now somehow I think Konami got the rights after this, um, and they actually released. Oh, there's Shredder. Well, I guess we didn't. I guess we didn't kill him after all. He's still alive. And that's the game. Back to the title screen. So this is Retro Reviews Plus uh, signing off. I hope you liked this video. Comment below. Uh, tell me what you thought of the game. My, how I did. I did. I, I know I didn't. Uh, you know, some people can go through it uh, with no deaths, which you know I. Of course, I I died a few times, but you know I'm not not the best at this game. But what was it? I am you know I can beat the game though. That's all that matters to me, and you know, I'm satisfied with that. But anyways, you know, like I said, I don't do any cheats or use the game genie or nothing like it. You know, I just play the game straight and don't use any codes. Just just play it through, and you know you feel you feel like you, uh, you I think you feel better about yourself when you beat a game without using any cheats. So anyways, uh, click like, click subscribe, tell your friends about it, and uh, we'll do some more plays through in the future and reviews. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. This is Retro Reviews Plus signing off. See you later, everybody. Have a good one.